Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a very simple cutscene inside of Roblox Studio. So, let's just get right into it. So before we start, make sure you go under the Home tab and open up the Explore and Properties. After that, we are now going to create our point for our cutscene. So for this one, I'm just going to show you uh, a two-point cutscene. So to do that, what we're going to do is go uh, over here to the left of the screen. We're just going to click on part, just like that. So this part is going to be um, where our cutscene begins. Uh, now the cutscene will always begin at the front of a part, which is kind of hard to tell if it just looks like this. So what we're going to do is go under the part, click on the plus and enter in a texture. Now, if you go under this texture, you'll notice that one side of your part will turn a bit orange like this. That is the front of your part. So just make sure it's on the front. If you want to double check, if you go into the properties, uh, you go under face, it should say front. So that is the front of your cutscene. So with that in mind, I'm going to go back to the part now that I know which side is the front. And I'm just going to set my starting point uh, somewhere up here. So this is where our cutscene is going to begin. The camera is going to look like this. Now for my second point, I'm just going to duplicate this. I'm going to bring it down just like that. Maybe I can like rotate it. A little bit just like that so what's gonna happen is we're gonna go from point one over here and then it's gonna cut scene all the way to point two at this angle just like that so obviously you can set your points to whatever you want but mine's gonna look like this so after that what we're gonna do is go under the workplace we're gonna click the plus and enter in a folder and let's name this folder to cut scene part just like that and then what you want to do is go to your first point over here and I'm just going to rename this to point one and then I'm going to go to my second point over here and I'm just going to name this to point two. And then what you want to do is drag both of these points into our cutscene part just like that. All right, next up, we're going to go under the starter GUI, click the plus and enter in a local script. And this is going to be our cutscene handler. So I'm going to name it the cutscene handler just like that. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit and you can now write what I write. So we're going to start off with some variables. So local camera equals to the workspace dot current camera. So this just gives a variable to the camera and then local player equals to game dot players dot local player. And this just uh, gives a variable to the current player. So after that, we're going to go down the line and write local uh, cut scene part and this is going to be equal to workspace colon wait for child inside the brackets we're going to put in some quotation marks and then this is going to be our cut scene part or our folder name and then we're going to go down the line and write local point one equals to this is going to be cut scene part colon wait for child inside the brackets put in quotation marks this is going to be point one and then for point two you can just copy the exact same thing but make sure that you change it to point 0.2 and then the quotation marks is going to say point 0.2 just like that after that we're going to go down two lines and then we're going to write in a service so we're going to have local tween service equals to game colon get service inside the brackets we're going to put in quotation marks and we're going to write in tween service just like that after that, go down two lines. We're now going to write our tween function. So I'm going to have local function, and then we're just going to name this our tween camera. I'm going to put in some brackets and write in pos, uh, which is short for position. After that, go down a line, and then we're going to write local tween inf. So it's going to be tween inf for info. And then this is going to be equal to the tween info dot new and then here we need to give the game uh, a few variables so the first one as you can see is going to be the time so this is how long the tween's going to take so i'm going to put like five for five seconds after that it's going to be some kind of style so i'm going to go write enum dot easing style and here you can kind of choose your style uh, i like quad so we're going to go with that and then put a comma and then now we need our direction so enum dot easing direction and here you only have three options in out or in out uh, there's some documentation uh, on all the styles and directions that I'll put down in the link 
of the video you guys can go check it out or you can play around with it to see which one you like the most but i'm going to be choosing out just like that and then we're going to give it a repeat count uh if you just want it to happen once just put a zero if you want it infinite uh put a negative one and then if you want to repeat a few times then two or three or whatever you want so i'm just going to put zero so it doesn't repeat and then put a comma and then here is if it's going to reverse so if you tween there is it going to come all the way back uh, i'm going to put false so it just tweens once and then the last parameter is going to be uh, a delay time uh, so if you want your tween to start after a few seconds then you can put in delay uh, if not you can just put in something like a zero just like that and then we can go down the line and then write local tween and this is going to be equal to the tween service colon create and here we also need a few variables so the first one is going to be the camera and then comma the second one is going to be our tween info so tween inf comma and the third one we're going to put in some squiggly brackets just like that we're going to put in c frame and then this is going to be equal to the pos or our position and then finally we're going to write tween colon play just like that so after that we can now go down two lines and then this is where we actually play our tween so for starters we can write something like task.wait so it doesn't happen immediately but after that we need to actually uh, uh set the camera so i'm scroll down just a little bit so this can be written as repeat and then go down the line and this can be task.wait and you can leave the brackets blank because uh, that just indicates a really really small amount of time and after that you can go down a line and then we can write camera dot camera type and then this is going to be equal to the enum dot camera type dot and then we want to make sure that it's scriptable so that we can alter it and then under here the intel we're going to go put a space and then we're going to write camera dot camera type equals equals to the enum dot camera type dot scriptable so this just basically ensures that uh, we keep trying to get the camera to become scriptable um, until it is scriptable then we can move on so once we have that we can go down and we can write camera dot c frame equals to and then this is just going to be our point one dot c frame after that we can go down a line we can write low weight so task that weight maybe something like two seconds and then we can write tween camera and inside the brackets we're going to write point two dot c frame so basically what we've done here is over here we've made sure that um the camera is scriptable and once it is scriptable we're going to set it to point one so if i go back into our workspace that is going to be over here so we're going to get the camera we're going to set it to position one over here and then we're going to tween the camera to point two after two seconds. So after two seconds, the camera is going to make its way all the way to our second position over here. So after that, we can go down a line and then we can write uh, task dot wait. And then this is a wait you want that's longer than your cutscene. So if our cutscene is about five seconds, then we can wait for seven seconds. So basically after the cutscene is done it's going to wait another two seconds and then we're going to go down a line and then we're going to write camera dot camera type equals to enum dot camera type dot custom and this just sets uh, the player's camera back to its original uh, or custom custom just means original so if i zoom out a little bit uh this is what our script should look like it should look something just like this and then you want to make sure that if you go under your cutscene parts folder, that both points are anchored. So if you go into the properties of them under parts, make sure that they are anchored or else the parts will fall right to the ground. But with that out of the way, let's go test it out. So right now we're in the game and then it's going to set the camera to our position one and then it's going to tween it all the way to position two, just like that. And then after two seconds, the camera is going to go back to our player just like that one final thing is if you don't want these blocks to be uh, visible while we're doing our cutscene just go back to your cutscene parts select all your parts go to transparency and just set it to one and now the parts are invisible but they're still there 
And then, with that out of the way, your cutscene should look something like this. So there you go. So camera's gonna pan to a point two that you don't even see. All right. So that'll be it for this tutorial. If you guys liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.